busiest transportation hubs in the state has been partially shut down this morning due to an infestation of bed bugs. Ew. Union right. Station is expected to fully reopen today after crews have been working around the clock to exterminate those insects. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones is live now at Union Station. All right, Marcy, any updates on the uh, cleanup here? Good morning. Yes, we actually do have an update. I'm going to step out of the way so that you can see there's about a dozen or so people waiting outside of Union Station as well as inside of the vestibules. That's because the seating area is still, in fact, closed. It has yellow caution tape up. They are not ready to open that seating area just yet. However, after two days of deep cleaning, workers say that they are ready to reopen sometime today. New Haven Parking Authority, the department that oversees the station, says they took immediate action when it was discovered bed bugs had made their way into the busy transportation hub. Seating was closed to the public Sunday and Monday as exterminators and crews sprayed and cleaned all surfaces. Treating bed bugs is complex and can take some time. Here are a few tips if you encounter them. Remove any clutter, throw away the infested items, develop and employ a professional treatment plan to kill the bugs, and continue to check at least one a week for any that may remain. While travelers are grateful for the action taken by the cleaning crews, many are puzzled how the bed bugs set up camp in this environment. That's horrible. That, that's, that, that, that's pathetic. I mean, you know, you, you can't get any nasty and lower, lower than that. Here until 945, and I see this is all closed off. So I asked the gentleman what's going on, and he said bed bugs. And I'm like, what? Bed bugs? Where are the beds? Never heard of bed bugs on tile and wood floors ever before. Another tip while traveling, try not to put your bags on the ground. That way it avoids any unwanted stowaways from catching a ride in your luggage. Reporting live in New Haven, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.